Greetings, greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to another one in my peeps I tell you, boy the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they cannot catch a break They were beaten last night by the Guyana Amazon Warriors Gonna take you through the game, give you a quick recap also going to talk a little bit about the Masters T10 League that is being played in the US. You know, we see Fidel Edwards getting a hat-trick and we see Lendell Simmons rolling back the years and scoring some runs. So, going to talk you through both of them. Just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section. So, it was an easy victory for uh, Imran Tahir and his team. Uh, the Ghana Amazon Warriors batted they fell, uh, first. They fell only three runs short of uh, 200. So they made 197 for 7 of their 20 overs. 197 for 7 of 20 overs. Not bad at all, my viewers and subscribers. Um, in terms of the batting for them, uh, Ayub, he started off well getting 31 from 17. You know, really trying to put the pressure on the Patriots during the power play so he's 31 from 17 had three fours and two sixes Shandapai hemorrhage yet to get up and running he was removed for a duck she hope the West Indies ODI captain once again proving how fluent he is how good he is as a batsman he scored 54 from 32 to really um, settle down the innings there after the last uh, hemorrhage pretty early so 54 from 30, uh, 32, we had three fours and four sixes in that knock. Azam Khan uh, failed to spark. He made nine of six. Uh, we had Shimran Hitzmaya who was there for a long period of time. In, you know, we're hit, when we're not talking about Hitmaya. He made 26 from 22 with one four and one six. Usually if Hitmaya is at the crease that long, you know, facing so many bars, you would, you would be, dumb, you, you know, you would be dominating in the CPL. But he didn't get off um, too good. Kimo Paul, he made 25 from 18, uh, two fours and one six. Pretorius made 10. And in the back end there, we had Romario Shepard getting 25 off 10. Not out, you know. Shepard and, um, we would have seen Shepard and Odin Smith out there. And Shepard, you know, he was dominating out there and letting Odin Smith know that, listen, you need to run the runs. You need to be aggressive. You need to give me the strike. And, you know, I think it was the last ball of the, of the innings that Odin Smith, um, that Romario Shepard slapped for a six to get the team up to 197. And that is how it we went. Odin Smith made five from three, not out. And, um, that is how it went for the team there. Now, in terms of the bowling for the Patriots, Sheldon Cottrell was roughly treated, my viewers and subscribers, roughly treated. He, um, he bowled four overs, uh, 52 runs, picked up one wicket. O'Shane Thomas wasn't too bad at all. Four overs, 38 runs. But the difference is time. He actually picked up three wickets. Right, so that is how it went. Cobin Bass, three overs for 26. Dominic Drakes, four overs, 43 runs, two wickets. George, he bowled two overs for 13 runs. And Navid, he bowled three overs, 22 runs, and one wicket. So that is how it went. Um, Ayub, he was dismissed by Drakes. Catrell got rid of Shandapai Hemraj. Navid got rid of She Hope. Uh, Azam Khan was removed by Oshin Thomas. Hitmaya was removed by Oshin Thomas. Kimopa was removed by Oshin Thomas also. Uh, Pretorius was removed by Drakes. Romario Shepard and Odin Smith, as I alluded to earlier, they were left not out as the team um, got that 197. Now, the, the, the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they lost Andre, Fle Andre Fletcher pretty early. You know, he made one or five, but the captain, Evan Lewis, he was looking uh, threatening, you know, seems as if he was going to give us one of those uh, dominant Evan Lewis innings. But it didn't turn out to go that way at all. He ended up getting 48 of 24 with six sixes and one four. Joshua De Silva was removed for 10. Amber to ride who got off to a start. But he made 32 from 24 with two fours and two sixes. You know, Rutherford failed to spark again, made three. Dominic Drake, six. Cobin Bash, eight. Kofi James, seven. Shellan Cottrell, one. Navid, two. Oshin Thomas, not out, and three. So 
132 all out in 16.5 overs. So Guyana Amazon Warriors winning that game there by 65 runs. Now in terms of the bowling for the Warriors, Godikish Moti announced his presence. Picking up 4 for 29 from his 4 overs. Imran Tahir 2 for 35 from 4. Odin Smith who I had predicted to, 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 to be dominant in this game. He bowled only 2 overs, 13 runs, 1 wicket. Kimo Paul 2 overs, 25 runs, 1 wicket. Romara Shepard 2 overs, 14 runs, 1 wicket. Dwayne Pretorius 2.5 2 overs, 12 runs and 1 wicket. So that is how it went my viewers and subscribers for um for, for them. Fletcher was removed by Shepard. Lewis was removed by Moti. Silva was removed by Kimo Paul. Raid was bowled by um Moti. Uh Sheffield Rutherford was removed by Imran Tahir. Dominic Drakes uh, was removed by Odin Smith. Cobin Bash was taken care of by Goodikish Moti. Uh, James was taken care of by Moti. Catrell by Tahir and Navid by Pretorius. As I, uh, as I said, Oshin Thomas was left not out on three. So, Guyana Amazon Warriors taking that one by 65 runs. And, you know, that, that, that will definitely do them well. So, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots will be looking to bounce back and try and get a win under their belt as soon as possible. All right. Um, quickly before we go. Just a little bit about the US T10 Masters uh, League that is being played. Fidel Edwards, he was in good form yesterday. He actually picked up and picked up a hat trick, you know, in his game. Yeah, man. So um, let me see. They say Edwards was the record in the as the the, the Texas Chargers, um, you know, was able to get the better of the New Jersey um, Tritons. Uh, Fidel Edwards, he got an hat trick, as I said, you know. Um, I think the, the first man to get a hat-trick in, 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 the, in the T10 there, the Masters T10. So Fidel Edwards still putting down the pace, still showing people that he, he has the ability to do, um, do, do it, you know. So um, Fidel Edwards there, my viewers and subscribers, getting 3 for 5. Um, 3 for 5 is what he got. Another West, uh, former West Indian was in good form for his team also. Talking about um, Lendl Simmons. Yeah man, a couple of games well played. So Lendell Simmons, um, he he made um, Lendell Simmons made forty one from twenty three. Yeah man, forty one from twenty three. He got uh with two fours and four sixes. You know, reminding people that he is or uh, well he was one of the dominant fours where T20 cricket is concerned. So just showing his class in the T10 Master Leagues, my viewers at Master League, uh, my people, uh, Red Emirate. You know, um, also did uh, did his little thing. He was actually responsible for getting um a free day out. You know, so uh, we see a couple of retired West Indians over out there, uh, doing their thing still. So that is basically it for this update. You know, my people, we're going to leave it right here for now. Later on, we we'll touch base again. Big up.